Happy Family Tasha Mom Bear Prepping. So first off, welcome back to the channel. I've been getting a lot of love lately and I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time, watching my content, watching my videos. I appreciate you to the moon and back, okay? <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, I hope you do enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, hopefully you'll get notified when I do do a video, but I do release videos every single day at 2 p.m. So today's video, this is what we're getting into. Now, first of all, this topic has been all over the channels, okay? So if you're following any kind of prepper, even homesteaders, um, any kind of current event channels, they're talking about the Colonial Pipeline, right? And it being hacked, and um, you're really living under a rock, by the way, if you haven't heard about this already, but the community has been talking about it from the minute it happened, okay? So it happened on last Friday, what is this, Tuesday? But you guys are seeing this, this is, this is gonna be Wednesday, I'm gonna slip this in on Wednesday. Um, and I, I honestly, all these channels are just, you know, reporting and, you know, communicating what happened, how that affects us, go get your gas. I mean, I was hearing from the community, Hey, if you need gas from day one, from Friday, from Saturday, go get gas, go get gas, go get gas. I think I even mentioned it very small in one of my videos already. Okay. So I just want to jump in and talk about what we can what we can do okay and how i contribute to that okay my channel is about <clears throat> prepping and how to prepare and how do you then defend against said thing that's happening right said crisis so this is a crisis and not so much for me i'm a prepper so i'm prepared so i'm sitting back kind of amused i'm not freaking out at all i'm not panicked i could care two shits that this pipeline has been hacked i think that really it's it's about time right just because our infrastructure is just crap all right and that should worry you for the future so this is where i see this whole gas pipeline thing okay i see this is in three phases and then i'm going to go through with you exactly what you can do to prepare okay so phase one is what you're seeing right now which is a run on the gas right a run on the um, pumps you're seeing this effect because that pipeline it runs up from the south all the way up to the east coast and so that's where you're gonna see that run on the pumps and we're already seeing that in several states they are reporting that they're either out of gas or they're wherever there is gas there's super long lines uh, police are being called it's just cr it's just crazy okay people are fighting it's just ridiculous like it's literally day four and people are losing their fucking minds okay so here on the east coast i mean on the west coast here we're not really nothing's really crazy yet right <clears throat> um gas hasn't really gone up i've seen a couple people a couple people report that gas went up in cali um but like northern cali it's it's more expensive so i'm not really sure okay I, i'm not seeing anything again i'm not worried okay my my tank never goes down past the half and and now with what's happening forget it baby i'll be topping off all the time but let's say i couldn't you're not gonna see me panic standing in them stinking lines okay we're prepared okay you're not gonna see me doing that okay second thing okay so running the gas we're already seeing that in the southern states you're gonna start seeing that in the days to come as that creeps up to um the bigger cities once they kind of catch up because right now it's kind of your your um rural type towns that are being affected okay and then eventually west coast i think from the west coast perspective we're going to see prices increase before we see um any kind of shortage um but we'll see okay again not panicked okay phase two phase two is kind of what we should already be prepping for which was what we were already dealing with which is food shortages inflation right we're already battling that so you should already be prepping for that and this should really be like a side blip on the radar but phase two is okay that situation now just makes what we were already dealing with worse okay so that's gonna affect sh food shortages even more not just food but shortages in general okay and we'll get to, into that in a minute but shortages in general and inflation okay stuff's gonna go up gas for example is gonna go up okay and then part of that phase is that could lead to panic buying now that's really dependent on how long does this last okay um, <clears throat> because the length of how long it lasts will determine how crazy things get. Okay. I mean, I have my popcorn out right now popped because I'm already watching. Cause I think it's like, this is funny, 
but um, it's kind of like the toilet paper thing to me, like just sitting back watching all these people like, I can't believe the last, you know, year and a half and you're running around like a chicken with his head cut off still, like still, like you're not surprised yet. I can't, all right? So don't be surprised, especially where they're already running on the gas. People start thinking now, people, the news is gonna start talking about, people will start talking about it. I'm talking about your regular people that don't prep. And now their little minds are gonna start thinking like, oh no, I gotta, I gotta, you know, buy stuff, right? And so that depending on how long it lasts, it could lead people going to stores because then their little brains start thinking about long term. Like how does gas affect how the world runs? Well, let me tell you, because that goes into phase three. Phase three goes into if this lasts a very long time, there's so many things that are dependent on gas. OK, if companies cannot get gas, you're talking about travel. OK, you're talking about um, planes, trains, um, traveling your own personal vehicle. OK, you're talking about flights. If, if airplanes and trains can't get gas to move people around, you know, then price, they're either not going to happen or prices are going to go up. Okay. And same thing with, um, our mail and deliveries. Okay. So that takes gas for Amazon to drive their million, you know, billion trucks all around. Okay. I get it. They, they talk about their eco-friendly and all this stuff, but, um, gas makes the world go round. Okay. Uh, the mail system. Okay. Those trucks are gas. All right. So how do they then take care of us? How do they take care of the consumer? Okay. Well, they're either not going to be able to deliver to you anymore and you're not going to be able to get mail and stuff or your prices go up, which means there's going to be more when you get to the end to pay. And that's going to be from the increase of how much it's going to cost to get gas because there's not that much. So price is going to increase. And again, that gets worse and worse and worse the longer that the situation happens. Okay. If that pipeline does not come back up online soon, serious things start happening. Okay. Um, let's talk about job loss. If people can't get to work, uh, you getting fired. Okay. These people don't care. They're not going to pay you while you sit at home doing a job that you cannot do. Okay. You can't even get to. Yeah, I get it. COVID happened and all these people, you know, figured out a way to work from home, but there's a lot of jobs that you can't do that. Okay. So all these essential workers, guess how they get to work? Why the rest of the people went home and stayed home and was working from home. Those people drove. Okay. It takes gas. All right. So now you're talking about, um, loss of jobs. People can't get, and you're not talking about, we all live in little towns where people can just walk to work. No, some people commute. 30 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour away. You can't just walk that. Okay. So that's a big deal. What else? I haven't even touched this one yet. Truckers, all the food, all the, the things that we need in life that we want and need. Those truckers do that. Guess what? Trucks take gas. Like this ain't, this ain't, um, I'm not a genius. Okay. I got a high school diploma. You guys, I tell you, man, if somebody like me can figure this out, I just don't understand how people are not awake yet. Okay. So my channel, I don't mean to come off like mad right now, but my channel is specifically to, um, tell people about how to prep and how to prepare for emergencies, for crisis, for preparing yourself to live off grid, preparing yourself to live a self-sufficient life and not have to depend on other people. Okay. And we're not quite there. We're not to the end game by any means. Okay. <clears throat> but we know what it looks like and we're, and we're trucking along. Okay. Clearly we're trucking along with no gas, but let me tell you, we're, we're moving towards the goal. Okay. And I would urge you that you need to come up with a plan yourself and move towards the goal. Now, how do we get ahead of this? Okay. A lot of people would argue it don't matter. It's too late. I would tell you it's not too late, okay? Might be too late for gas, <laughs> depending on where you live, okay? That's your own damn fault. But I'm going to tell you actually what I would be focusing on, okay? What I'm actually focusing on still, and what I would tell you to focus on, especially if you're where this is affecting you the most and the hardest, okay? So here's a news flash. We're going to have more grid and infrastructure cyber attacks, that it's already been happening. It's already happened like three or four times this year. 
and two of them were halfway bigger, so people kind of halfway knew about them, okay? But it's happening all over the place. Water grid, power grid, this pipeline, it's all over the place. Our infrastructure, the Texas thing, I mean, it's everywhere, okay? So it's happening. So then how do you prepare for it? You prepare for it by making sure that you have what you need to be able to live your life without power, without electricity. How do you cook? How do you clean? Meaning how do you hygiene, right? Clean yourself. How do you wash clothes? How do you wash dishes? How do you cook without power? How do you keep yourself hot or cold depending on where you live, okay? Like those are the things that matter. And those are the things that you should concentrate on right now today. If you do not have an alternate way to cook food right now today, number one, go get it. Go get, go, go outside. Do you have a barbecuer? Okay, that's enough. Go get the fuel for it. Go get the charcoal. Go get the propane, whatever. Go get that, okay? Get some wood, whatever, okay? You have a fire pit in the backyard. Do you have a, a camp stove, okay? Whatever it is, you need an alternate, alternate source for cooking. You need a way to light your home at night. Is that lanterns? Is that lanterns that take fuel? Is that lanterns that are LED? Like, what is the deal? What are you going to do? Depending on where you live, how are you staying warm so you don't, um, you know, shiver to death? right? People die from hyperthermia all the time. So how do you keep your family warm? How do you keep your family cool? If you live somewhere that's super hot, Arizona, Florida, right? Humid. How do you keep yourself cool? Okay. Like you need to prepare for living off grid because we're not going to have this. Okay. You need to pre prepare for no food supply. Okay. You, food, water. You need to prepare that that stuff is not going to be just given to you anymore. Okay. You need to prepare your home for these things. No power, possibly no water what happens if they attack our sewer do you know how it's disgusting it's gonna be if our sewage lines get somehow compromised backed up whatever and this country doesn't even know how you know to take a shit outside of if the power is off like it's crazy it, and it's, it's just it's getting me hyped because preppers get a bad rap we've had a bad rap forever forever like we're the loony boon boons loons i said i'm not even drinking loons right we're we're the crazies that are like prep prep and aliens and the sky's falling and all this craziness right but you don't even have to be a prepper to just see what is happening in the last let's just call it year and a half two years that that like, are you not seeing this stuff? Because if you're not, if if you're just that person that's like, oh, it's no big deal, it's fine. I'm just going with the flow, like YOLO, whatever. Cool, then then cool, okay? Like when, when the big one hits, and I'm not talking about a fucking earthquake, okay? I'm talking about when the big, something huge happens and it has any length of time, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, okay? And maybe that's, maybe that's the goal, but I'm telling you now, get your water. Okay. I'm not here to scare you. Get your water, get your food, get your alternate way to live, um, and cook and do everything you do in the day right now without power. Okay. And, and for the love of God, if you're somewhere where you can still get gas, get your cars filled up, all of them, get every car on your property filled up. You have one gas can, go fill it up, bring it back, fill up the boat, fill up the RV, fill up the car that's just sitting in the backyard, fill up the lawnmower, gas cans. Um, if you can still do it, do it. And if you can't, oh well, oh well. You like you need to wake up, okay? So I'm really not like a mean person, you guys. I'm really, really, <laughs> I know it just seems like I'm just like, eh, 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 but this is important, okay? And this is kind of why I didn't even want to go down this rabbit hole of this stinking pipeline because in my household, we're not worried about this. I told you, I got my popcorn, it's popped, and I'm just gonna watch all the silly people panic and, fr and freak out, okay? So until next time, smash that like button. If you didn't like what I had to say, smash the down button, that's okay. We're family. It's not always roses every time, right? Do the up or do the down. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.